Welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. Hello, this is Michael Anderson, your host, and I'll be doing the pick this week. The contest is between the number three, the Kula Falcons, versus number two, Grayson Rams. Even though the game is being played at the Kula, and the fact that Grayson is a young team, I still think that Grayson has too much firepower. So my pick is Grayson. Good evening. My travels have taken me to Takula Football Stadium, located in Gwinnett County, Georgia, to witness a contest between the number three Takula Falcons versus the number two Grayson Rams. This is a contest for first place in Region 8 in Gwinnett County. Both teams are hard-hitting football teams and have great tradition, so this should be a great football contest. The Takula Falcons are led by Jack West Evangelisker. Number 25, cornerback, 160 pounds, 5 feet, 10 inches. The Grayson Rams are led by Cameron Britt, number 33, running back, 5 foot 8, 190 pounds. At the top of the first quarter, on the 49-yard line, Grayson hands the ball off to number 33, but he was rudely greeted by the Kula defenders. It's getting a little chippy out there. On the same Grayson drive from the 49-yard line, Grayson's quarterback throws a dart to number 7. He does a highlight spin move for a first down. After a race in front from the 25 yard line, the Kula hands the ball off to number two, and he is greeted by a swarming Grayson defense. On the same the Kula drive from the 39 yard line, the Kula's quarterback throws a great fake, even fakes the cameraman out, and goes up the field for a huge game. On the same drive from within the 10 yard line, the Kula shows the big man some love and he goes up the middle for a small game. From the 4 yard line, the Kula's number 20 busts up the middle for the Kula touchdown! The Nakula extra point was good. After the Nakula kickoff from the 7 yard line, Grayson's quarterback throws a long bomb pass to number 32 and he makes a highlight catch.
on the same Grayson Drive from the 34 yard line. Number 33 rams up the middle for a huge game. On the same Grayson Drive within the 10 yard line, Grayson's quarterback is reading very rudely. How do you do? It's getting a little chippy out there. Number 33 punches the ball in for a Grayson touchdown. The Grayson extra point was good. After the Grayson kickoff within the 10 yard line, the coolest quarterback throws a pass to number two. And number 21 brings the wood. After the court, the clue of punt from the 25 yard line, the coolest quarterback executes a draw play. Number 33 goes up the middle. Although it's not Christmas, he gives number seven a sleigh ride. Grayson attempts to punch the ball in, but number 54 shows you how a linebacker hits. Grayson throws a pass on a rope to number seven, who makes a highlight catch for a Grayson touchdown. Interesting celebration dance. I tell you that number seven has some excellent hands. After a few exchanges of possessions from the 18-yard line, the Cougars 25 darts up the middle for a huge game. The halftime score was 14-7 with Grayson up. Now it's the beginning of the third quarter. After a great halftime to cool the kickoff return from the 28-yard line, it's fourth and short. Watch how they reject the big man. Turns the ball over on downs. On the very next play, Grayson fumbles the ball and the Cooler recovers within the 10 yard line. On the next play, Cooler shows some love to the big man. He rumbles for a short game. The Cooler's quarterback fakes to the big man, causes old number. He goes up the middle for the Cooler touchdown. I tell you, that quarterback throws some awesome fakes. The Cooler's extra point was no good. After the cool kickoff from the 26 yard line, Grayson throws a dart across the field to number seven. He catches it. I tell you what, when you go across the middle, you have to keep your head on the swivel, and that he did. At midfield, Grayson has to fall off number 33 for a huge game. Grayson was unable to punch the ball in the end zone, so they kicked a long field goal, and it was good. Relax your body. Okay folks, I'm warning you, it's going to get crazy from here. On the next kickoff, the cooler receives the ball. The runner is stood up. The ball is stripped. Grayson recovers.
for the very next play. Grayson throws the ball into the end zone, and it is intercepted by the Kula. After the Kula take possession on the 20-yard line, they hand the ball to number two, and he is shaking and baking. And big number 71 put it into that madness. Big number 44 showed you how a linebacker hits. After exchange of possessions at midfield, the Kula hands the ball off. They fumble, but the Kula gets the ball back. After the Kula punt from the 27-yard line, Grayson hands the ball off, and he fumbles. The Kula recovers. On the next Takula possession, Takula throws a pass into the end zone for a Takula touchdown. The coolest extra point is good. After the cooler kickoff from the 28 yard line, it's fourth and long. Grayson throws a dark pass for a first down. Grayson throws a pass. But number 18 of the Kula intercepts it from point blank range and runs it all the way back for the Kula touchdown. Final score was 27 to 17, with the Kula being the victor. Wow, that really was a great football game. I really enjoyed it. Um, this was a typical Gwinnett County Smash Mouth football game. Um, the Kula, uh, I was very surprised how good they are. I had no idea. Um, the running game was very, very good. Defense was very stout, was really hard hitting. They played with a lot of tenacity. Um, they look like a number three team in the state. Uh, so far as Grayson, I think that their turnover is pretty much costing the game. Um, they do have a, another dimension this year, which is the passing game. They have a quarterback that can throw the ball very well and a receiver that can catch the ball at number seven. Um, they do look like the number two team uh, in the state. In my opinion, this was an upset, the fact that the Kula beat Grayson. Um, from my understanding, uh, Region 8 will face Region 1, which is South Georgia, in the first round. So South Georgia folks, uh, you got to look at uh, some of your competition coming up. And as you can see, uh, these teams are good up here in North Georgia. Um, that's all I have. Thank you. Talk to you next time. Please stay tuned. I have a few more features after this segment. It is enlightening to see that more females are participating in the sport of football more. Earlier this week, my daughter sent me a picture of a field goal kicker. This particular kicker happened to be a female. Her name is Rachel Palazzo. She's a Hillgrove High School field goal kicker. She was named Female Athlete of the Week. I ran across another female kicker. Her name is Silly Mohammed. She's a Chattahoochee High School field goal kicker. While watching the Dakula football game, I noticed they had a female kicker. Her name is Sabrina Sewell. Lastly, I ran across the Stevenson High School field goal kicker who happens to be a female. However, I do not know her name. I would like to pay tribute to my alma mater, Georgia Southern University, who defeated Georgia State this weekend. The final score was 69 to 31. Now who's the real GSU? Enough said. Nine, 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 nine.
take me to your football game. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. Thank you for tuning in to the High School Football Pigskin Show. Be sure to tune in to our next show on my channel, Morel Productions.